immediately after World War II, it became important that we improve the kind of box that housed our classified material and also the locks that were used in commercial markets for the protection of valuable valuables. Uh, this case shows a number of those various early prototypes and, and efforts to develop new locks. And in fact, the need at that time is what started the entire lock collection and made it much more important for research and study than it had in previous years prior to that. Th this uh, display of those early models is extremely interesting. In fact, soon, Russ Waller, a very close friend and a great help in manipulation and the security uh, contributed to the development of LOX, will join with us to talk about those very things. Uh, you will see in here the new types of combination locks developed and the manipulation proof locks of both uh, types that uh, afforded the group one uh, lock development. And here we have the combination changing developments of padlock as well as other mechanisms. And in this particular case is the development of the medical lock cylinder. Uh, which, again, has done such a terrific job for the United States in key locks and the security they offer. This case was made possible by many friends who presented to me interesting models of banks and mechanical banks, and uh, it creates a very interesting display uh, and of great interest to people who like to study locks. The next case here is in, uh, contributed entirely to my father and the contributions that he made to security and uh, lock improvement. Like myself, he devoted a great part of his life to contributing what he could to improve the locks used by uh, the, the military, the government, and my father served uh, about seven or eight presidents, uh, starting with Roosevelt, and I myself uh, continued that from Roosevelt's time up to and through Nixon, um, doing things that were helpful in and about the White House. This is my father, a picture of him and his years uh, in our industry. He started out building banks for the old National Safe Company, Cleveland, Ohio, and then moved on to doing the same work for Debo Safe and Lock, Canton, Ohio, and uh, ended up in Washington, D.C., owning and having developed the Safe Masters Company. And these are a good many of the people who worked for him and part of his staff. He was awarded a picture of honor. Uh, by the White House for his work there, as I was also by the picture that's given here to myself. Uh, my father had many awards throughout his years, uh, and uh, the uh, he uh, donated by the the Philadelphia Award was given to my father for his contribution to the industry. I received
received a similar award uh, in uh, this display here, and a very good friend of mine, Ben Silver, was also uh, given the award, and I am proud to have Ben Silver's award placed beside my father and myself.